Do we have a deal for you today? We got a brand new build. I'm in high pinion 30 for 32 easy payments of 99.99. Come get yours today. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the ultimate high pinion 30 build that we did on the Grand Cherokee. The final cost of the Ultimate 30 is kind of going to blow your mind. So we'll go into details of the parts we installed on the Ultimate 30 build and the cost of each part. And at the end, we will give you our final thoughts, the pros and cons of what we did on this Ultimate 30 build. We'll start with the parts. We started with the junkyard parts to build our Ultimate 30 out of a Jeep Cherokee. Part we're going to use from the High Pinion 30 is the housing, the gears, and the axles. From there, we bought another axle, a WJ axle out of a Grand Cherokee in 99 to 2004 Grand Cherokee. We bought that axle just for the knuckles and the brake assembly including the calipers and rotors now for the parts list from iron rock off-road we'll go from least to most expensive first off we bought quarter inch caliper spacers quarter inch caliper spacers for fifteen dollars and thirty four cents but buy four total quarter inch unit bearing spacer we got quarter inch unit bearing spacers for 36.92 next on the list is the hd lower control arm mounts we got hd lower control arm brackets for 39.99 we bought the half inch press in flex joint for the upper control mount on the axle we got upper control arm flex joints for 46.94 that we bought the installation tool to put that press in flex joint we bought the dana 30 c gussets we got the dana 30 c gussets for 52.41, we bought the Alloy USA axle tube seals to go on the end of the axle tube. We got the Alloy USA axle tube seals for a Dana 30 for 69.99. We bought Spicer U joints. We got the Spicer 760X. U joints for $79.98. Heavy duty ball joints. We got these fancy fancy upper ball joints and lower ball joints for $99.99. We also bought the WJ stainless steel front brake hoses. We got the WJ stainless steel braided front brake hoses for 109.19. The Dana 30 inner axle sleeve kit. We got the Dana 30 inner axle sleeve kit for 141.95. Torque locker for a Dana 30. We got your torque locker for Dana 30 at a whopping $349.99. And the most expensive 
was a Dana 30 over the axle truss. For the big ticket item, Dana 30 over the axle truss. Four ninety-one forty cents. Now for the parts for Trail Ford. The parts list include the WJ HD steering kit. Okay, so the width of this guy is the high pinion 30 is 53 width of the baby. Oh, not the baby. The WJ is 56. We got your WJHD steering kit coming in at $320. And go with that optional 5 8 bridge reamer for $49. Bought the 5 8 bridge reaming tool to ream out for the WJ knuckles and for the upper pitman. Now for the parts from O'Reilly's. Bought XJ wheel bearing assembly. We got the wheel bearing hub assembly for a grand total of $249.98. Brake rotors. We went with new brake rotors instead of using the old used brake rotors. You got these big brake rotors coming in at a grand total of $145.98. And the DYI drill bolt pattern. Brake pads. We saved some money and reused the brake calipers, but we opted to go with brand new brake pads for $52.99. When you do the WJ upgrade brake caliper, make sure you get the one caliper without the clip in it. This is the better caliper of the two. If you're gonna run a 15 inch wheel, you're gonna run the bigger caliper from the WJ. You're gonna to have to grind down this surface a little bit on the caliper because these calipers and rotors are meant to run with a 16 inch wheel and not a 15. So just so you know, there's barely any clearance when you're running an aftermarket steel wheel you would not be able to run a factory 15 inch because the back spacing on that wheel would not accommodate for that big caliper. So a good tip, if you're gonna run the big WJ calipers, you might wanna upgrade to a 17 inch wheel. We opted to go with brand new hub bolts. Wheel hub bolts, $7.92 a piece. Grand total of $47.52. For the miscellaneous tools and parts, 5 8 drill bit to drill out the rotors from five on five to five and four and a half. We also had to buy some miscellaneous bolts including longer bolts to mount the brake caliper bracket. Note, big item parts that are missing are upgraded gears and upgraded axles. That'd be quite a bit more of a cost expense if you wanted to go with a deeper gear and to put stronger front axles in the Ultimate 30 build. Now for my final thoughts. The first thing is the cons. The cons would be the price of the build. Uh, when I first started, I knew the price 
of building an Ultimate 30 would be significantly high, but I didn't think it would be as much as it ended up being. Make sure you check the description below for the list of details and the cost breakdown. The other con would be if someone would offer a drag link in a tie rod bar when you build the Ultimate 30. If someone knows of someone that does build that kit, please comment below. We had to go to Trail Forge and build my own drag link and my own tie rod bar. But if someone offers one, that would be significantly better than someone building their own when building the Ultimate 30. Other than that, all the pros outweigh the cons. I love the knuckles that you use from the WJ, having the separated drag bar from the track bar. I love that, that upgrade. Also, I love that you can put the bigger rotors on from the WJ and use the dual piston calipers. Our first time out, I could tell the difference during braking, going down those steep inclines out off-roading, how much better the braking was with that upgraded brake system from the WJ. Another pro is just the looks of the Ultimate 30. With that big truss, upgrade all those components that are known for braking when you're out off-roading. So building that Ultimate 30 just beefs up the front end so you don't have to worry about braking components out on the trails. So that's the wrap on the Ultimate 30. I hope this was informational for you as much as it was for me when I broke down the numbers and while building the Ultimate 30. As always, thanks for watching and until next time. Now go build your Ultimate High Pinion 30 today.